What's up everyone, in this video we shall look at the Realme 5 Pro's camera settings in detail. Now I won't go through all the settings in this phone, rather I will give you some tips and tricks about the photography that you can capture using any of the phone. But we will also test the Realme 5 Pro's camera, like you have got main camera 48 megapixel for these kind of beautiful landscape pictures. And you have also ultra wide angle, again useful for landscape but with different variable angles which I am going to show you. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Alright, so don't forget to like and share this video as well. Let's begin this video then. So guys, as you can see, we have uh, some beautiful landscape over here as you can see. Now why I have chosen this particular angle is because there is some leaves falling off uh, or rather say branches over the top here. You can't see in the camera but still I'll show you when I hold this one. As you can see, we have got this little one and what this does is this creates a charm for the overall picture especially while I am clicking landscape photo. Now the first thing you want to do or utilize the camera here is about the ultra 48 megapixel always enable this when you are capturing landscape photos so it really helps you give detailed and sharp images like no other camera does if it doesn't have 48 megapixel of course so the first thing you want to do is when you have these kind of clouds over here what you want to do is enable this chroma boost that is why this option is here and this gives you proper detailed shadows as well as highlights and you know brings that kind of charm in the photo in order to give that distinctive look rather than capturing directly without enabling this one. So this is the first thing you want to do. The second thing is to enable this grid lines. As you can see, I have enabled this grid lines in order to get that accurate looking composition. Now I'm using this reference lines in order to get the horizontal perfectly and my image looks really nice. Okay, once you have enabled that, there is this ultra wide angle camera. Now how to use this again, depending on the scene, so as you can see there are a lot of shadows here and highlights I want to expose it properly so I use tap to focus where I want to use the tap to focus is on the subject so I want this to be the subject this to be the leading line here so as I tap on it as you can see it has exposed here and the shadows is reduced and it gives me very clearer images otherwise what happens is it focuses on rather backside and this becomes siloid kind of thing so you don't want to happen that thing that is why tap to expose use this one always and now as you can see there are a lot of things over here distractive elements I will do is just tap and hold this one and slightly zoom in not too much make sure you are doing it within 2x so this really helps and once I have done that using the ultra wide angle again tap to focus then click on a picture otherwise I can even remove the ultra wide angle and then use 2x zoom directly to get this close up looking shot of the mountain so these are the kind of things that you want to trick and make sure that you are getting perfect looking exposed images all the time without even editing another important trick is to use HDR like I said when there are a lot of shadows over here then you can turn on the HDR and then click a picture as you can see it shows me here it is telling me HDR and using artificial intelligence it is telling me this is a scene so all right then let's go ahead and click a picture so this is how you can uh, change the composition you can create different unique looking styles of your pictures and add, get sharp looking images every single time as you can see I have turned down slightly tilted upwards rather than always capturing this way you can slightly tilt it upwards like this you know to get some different elements in the subject and then use the grid lines click a picture just like this so there are lots of varieties like panorama nightscape ultra 48 megapixel ultra macro slow motion we will look into that in another video so guys as you saw just standing on one position i would say able to capture some different styled images and make sure you use all the features that i said and take some really great looking images if you are new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button and there is a facebook page which i'll leave a link in the description section also you can see over here on the video itself you can just go ahead and like the page also share your images on my page and if you want i'll critique your images as well all right then see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye